Hello, my dear friends, my lovely audiences. Welcome to the East West Show. Jack Chow on the East West Show with ICTTV. And、uh, once again, we're talking about things around us, especially in California. Now we're 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 seeing lots of problems, especially the southern border of California. We have the、uh, migrant caravans coming in the numbers of tens of thousands, and that we will we really need to analyze about what's happening by nature. And on top of that,、uh, with the with my friend Mike Sinfender. A、former candidate for California Assembly 58th District,、uh, I believe that、uh, his first one was first run was successful, because you get your voices heard, your positions are recognized. Only is a matter of time. That's、Thank、in、you. my eye. One thing we left over, that I still want to pick up, <laughs> because the time、uh, was a, was a piping hot issue. Of the AB one no one eighty sixteen one eighty one eighty six correct one eighty one one eighty six one sixteen was one eighty six one eighty six so I that is、uh, the、uh, the safe house for drug house we call it a drug house right so for that I don't want to just put it aside I still want to pick up as a subject. To talk about, so that we beware of、uh, what shall happen, what will happen, and the better pre- get prepared. So, welcome, sir, to the、Appreciate、interview. Good to be back, please. All right, good. And I'm glad you're back. All right, very good.、Uh, leftovers. Those are leftovers, right? Lots of folks are doing this when they are at election time. They are vigilant over everything to all the issues around them,、mm-hmm. but right after, well, things subside.、Mm-hmm. Things subside. Well, they take it easy. They never rethink about it. But there is something undone. That is the AB eight sixty four. Right. So that is the drug house issue.、Mm-hmm. So where? What is the status now? We wouldn't be talking about this.、Um, Except that the new incoming governor、mm-hmm. has made it clear that he wants to look at this、mm-hmm. because San Francisco has him.、Mm-hmm. That's his background.、Um, governor Brown vetoed the bill,、mm-hmm. rightfully so.、Mm-hmm. And now the new governor is saying, "Well, I want to look at this." So he has already signaled the assembly to let's rise from the ashes and let's put the bill back into play. And so that's the reason why I think it's important for the audience to understand. While we're focused on holidays and eggnog and、mm. New Year celebrations,、um, we need to keep an eye because this will allow, with our taxpayer dollars,、mm-hmm. cities to open up designated places、mm-hmm. for drug users to come in、mm-hmm. and shoot up their heroin. We're going to have nurses, doctors. Facilities, clean needles, all of it given to the drug user. You and I are paying for this.、Mm-hmm. The beauty of it is it allows cities to opt out of the potential law, and I think that's where our opportunity is for people to understand. While we're doing eggnog and New Year's celebration, we also need to be asking ourselves: How do we get organized? So that when this thing will rise from the ashes, we are not caught off guard.、Mm. That's how a lot of silly legislation survives.、Mm. It just quietly goes through the process. You and I are so busy with work. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. You're and then right. the next、mm. thing we know, we're reading newspaper articles、mm. about when this law now becomes in effect. Yes, yes, going, yes, yes. Who thought of this? It's too late. Yeah, too late. You know. Such as the proposition number six. Yes. We lost. We did not even know why. Why we lost. Yeah. Right. And such as the AB eighteen ten. Yeah. Right. In the past, we did not. We did not even know when or why it was passed. Right.、Mm-hmm. And we did not even know in the first place why this kind of law was created. Yeah. And it was added on as a rider to the budget. Yeah. In the middle the, of the night. They call it a trailer law. Yeah. The trailer bill, yeah, whatsoever.
Yeah. So it means that you, there goes a trailer you can put anything in. Yeah. My socks included. Which is why I think it's important for the audience to know. Mm -hmm. We have got to pay attention to what they're and doing. The last thing we want to know, out of what kind of mind could these mm -hmm. legislators create such a law? Yes. A law to use the taxpayer's money, that means your money, my money, his money, everybody's money, mm -hmm. right? To provide the drug houses mm -hmm. for them to safely inject mm -hmm. their drugs. And for the drugs, the definition, I remembered precisely, the wording was heroin and up. Yes. Heroin and up. Yes. To use that under the supervision of doctors and with the help of nurses. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I became, remember the last time we were arguing so much on that, we became wordless, wordless. It is because you ask yourself, who decided to make that legitimate? Now all of a sudden it's becoming legitimate because we're being required to discuss it. Um, Canada, is had, in one of the cities, has had it on their books for well over a decade. And so we can study this is what's happened when you do this. Denver is now allowing this to happen. And mm -hmm. so you ask yourselves, uh, Jack and Mike are crazy. Why are they talking about this? No, we're not crazy. We're paying attention to what's going on and we're watching this area. It's legitimate. Now this city, legitimate. Now in our state, they're trying to make it legitimate and it's already legitimate in San Francisco. The only thing crazy is to not pay attention. If I may stretch a little bit, mm -hmm. my dear audience, whatever I say represents myself, mm -hmm. right? I have a disclaimer as the following to make. Mm -hmm. right? It doesn't have anything to do with this, mm -hmm. with the EDI, with the g and &E TV, mm -hmm. and totally is a, a me as a man, as a father, as a grandfather, mm -hmm. my personal views. If we can do that, I would even thinking about, I would even think about, should we provide prostitute for rapists? Yeah. So that we can stop, successfully stop the crime mm -hmm. of raping? Yes. So, it, you, know, you understand it, where see, I'm see, from, right? See, somebody would normally say, Jack, you're crazy. No, it's not crazy. It is that same thought process that you just said. Yeah, exactly. That is now happening with, we're making it legitimate for the drug dealers to move their product because when the user is struggling, don't worry, the taxpayers are going to be there to help them. When out. we can provide houses for them to, do, to use drugs, though, why can't we do houses with uh, yeah. prostitute? We're... we're Completely changing or the value least, system. Or at the least we can use tax dollar dollars to provide some masturbation call houses. Yes. How about that? Yeah. It just, it, it, it defies logic. Uh, it no, defies no, no, values. No no no, 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 no. No matter what somebody believes religiously, the idea that you're going to legitimize use of drugs does not fit anybody's and you system. glorify it exactly you glorify it so they deserve the service i don't it becomes jack if you're when struggling i see that, with when your I drug, your yeah. drug use don't worry go to this address and they'll help you when i need a doctor where is the doctor when yeah. i need a nurse where is the nurse yeah. and yet with the taxpayers dollars that includes my my dollar mm -hmm. so they do that yeah they are abusing their power to exactly. me, all right? I don't get to the logic. I'm not a that a stubborn people. Mm -hmm. I can be educated. Mm -hmm. I can be talked into. You can incumbent upon me to believe it, mm -hmm. right? No problem. Go ahead, come challenge me or accept my mm -hmm. challenge to discuss about it. Mm -hmm. I would say that should we do that? I mean, should we be able to do that? We can do everything. Like mm -hmm. I said, prostitution house, about that. Yeah. Uh, how about a masturbation house? How about that? Yep. Right? So, 
out of logic, out of logic. We have a society, we have kids to, to, to teach, right? And, and what it does, it turns on its head the discussion of this is right and this is wrong. Well, now it becomes maybe this wrong is not quite as wrong, and maybe it's now more kind of okay. No, 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 no. And no. I have a problem with that, just like you do. Of course, of course, of course, well, of course. Yeah. We the people, we the people have, uh, have a voice to make, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that's why we choose them, we handpick them mm -hmm. through election to represent us. When, they, when, when the word representation fails to do its job, though, mm -hmm. I really doubt what we have done. I really doubt if they will keep on representing us. Mm -hmm. And yet, we have a new governor coming in, right? Mm -hmm. He is preparing himself already, yep. right? He was sworn in next January, right? Okay, now, and he's looking at it. So that's very scary. It's beyond, it's like, okay, if you're gonna look at that, what else are you gonna try to do? That's just offensive. And, and you can't say, well, it's about caring for people. That's already killed a veto the bill. Yeah. If you do not have 100% of the backup, though, why would you even try it? Yeah. Yeah. There, speaking of that, though, there might be another chance mm -hmm. that they have, he has them rewrite it into something like they did with the proposition number six. Remember the wording mm -hmm. dramatically changed? Yes. Right? And swap it, and re well, it, it was it was totally a different thing mm -hmm. when it showed up, right? Yep. It, it, just like you have uh, people that make shoes and, and build things, you have people that sit around and redo the wording. Mm -hmm. And the next thing we know, the safe injection sites will get totally turned around, and people will look at it, and go, "Oh, I'm for that." No, read the details, which we don't do. Just yeah, like they can change the. At the least, they the can change the, some titles. They will, and or they'll package it in mm -hmm. with something else. Well, you know what? People may not like this, so I'm just going to kind of package it in here and hide it. And and put it in a trailer. Yes. And put it in the trailer. Yeah. 1810 is a trailer, right? So yes, we have no idea. Put it in the trailer. How they will hide, uh -huh. deceive, for us to be able to. Can you imagine? You're trying to sell your home. And you realize four blocks away is a safe injection site, and your realtor is going to be required to disclose. <laughs> so you got to ask people if you if you aren't sure about it from the use of drugs, how about your own personal pocketbook called your house? Mm -hmm. And when you're trying to establish value, buy or sell. Do you want to buy a house and four blocks away is a safe injection site? Real estate the value is going to go crash. It would. And I think right. we need to be direct with our And cities. yet you have schools. You have kindergartens, mm -hmm. right? And you have residential areas. Mm -hmm. So so we're, we are uh, facing a situation that we have to mingle with them. Yep. All the time. Well, and we have to have the viewers realize this is coming okay remember the other time that we talk when we talk about it mm -hmm. we have the existing rehab benefit facilities mm -hmm. rehabilitation facilities mm -hmm. right put the money there right and put the people there mm -hmm. that's enough you do not have to open those drug houses well and then on top of that put more money to taking down the criminal organizations that poison us. And, and I'm just floored how California won't put resources there, but we will put resources into, you want to make it actually easier for the drug cartels to exist because they can push their product. And if the end user is struggling, don't worry, the state will make it easier for them to use it. Already, I can't wait for the next election to happen. Well, and somebody needs to go out of office, right? My dear friend, my lovely audience, today we're talking about to uh, uh, AB uh, 864, which is very dangerous, which was by vetoed by Governor Brown mm -hmm. and was said to be revived, at least to be looked at 
by the incoming new governor, incoming, incoming governor, mm -hmm. that is a very, 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 very risky situation. Please keep your eyes peeled uh, at this movement, and we will keep uh, repeatedly uh, to uh, to warn you to keep you vigilant about the movement of any mm -hmm. future movement of it. Let's wrap it up. We have more troubles to talk about, mm -hmm. and uh, let's move to the southern border. Right? Yep. So stay with us. We'll be right back. Hello, dear friends, my lovely audience, my dear fellow Americans. Uh, welcome back to the show. It's a discussion about the problems around us. Of course, I can sing songs all the time, mm -hmm. and it's a lovely life for us to sing about. However, you really have to to pick up the points that where you whereby you have problems, and by improving it, you get an even better life. Mm -hmm. Right. Now we're talking about the southern border. We have a very devastating situation with my friend Mike Sinfendorfer, mm -hmm. a candidate, former candidate for uh, California Assembly 58, mm -hmm. and he, I, I'm pretty sure he will be the next candidate for, mm -hmm. if not the same position, and I believe that he qualifies to represent people, to mm -hmm. be the aid, to be the ones representing you. Mm -hmm. That's how confident I am in him. Uh, talking about the southern border problem, though, uh, will you give us a overall description sure. about what's happening or update? Yeah, and I want your viewers to know I lived and worked on the border in the early '90s down in Calexico, mm -hmm. and I actually used to have a, a work permit to uh, work in Mexico. Mm -hmm. So it gives me a good understanding, and I, I share with people we can read and study what's going on there, mm -hmm. but until you go live there you don't understand what's really going on. Mm -hmm. And the sad part is, all the thousands of people that are now in Tijuana, they're being used. Are they uh, fleeing violence? You bet. Are, are they struggling with no jobs back in their home country? Mm -hmm. You bet. Mm -hmm. Are they struggling with the lack of infrastructure, clean water, electricity? Exactly, you the bet. basic, basic, basic. The basics that mm -hmm. we take mm -hmm. for granted, they mm -hmm. can't even get. And so, and they're being manipulated. Mm -hmm. And that's the sad part. If we had any decency to us, we would insist their governments perform, mm -hmm. that they do their jobs. And that of, of the hundreds of millions of dollars that we as taxpayers give into Central America, mm -hmm. that if they can't do their job, that's fine. Then let's bring in UN peacekeepers mm -hmm. into these cities and bring peace so the killing starts to go down. That would be a right approach. And actually, it's an approach that's often done in other parts of the world. Mm -hmm. But we got to ask ourselves, why is this not happening in Central America? Why is it acceptable for people to be used the way they're being used mm -hmm. in a political debate? Mm -hmm. When the real issue is they should have decency back in their home country. Yeah. Uh, last night, I was having dinner with a bunch of friends. Mm -hmm. and we talked about it, mm -hmm. right? Uh, they kind of a question about the fact, right? If I could sum up in one simple sentence is, mm -hmm. oh, is that Honduras was not a, was not a, um, uh, from uh, Mars. Mm -hmm. It's been there ever since, mm -hmm. right? United States has been the immigration country ever since, mm -hmm. right? And everything was a norm before then. How come all of a sudden it happens what it happens? Who's being used? All right. So they want to come to a conclusion. Mm -hmm. This whole thing could have been orchestrated. Mm -hmm. Do you, well, would you agree with me, with them? Yes, because we haven't had this before. And like you said, yeah. these countries have been there. They've had their problems for a long time. The, the problem of violence, the lack of economic development, electricity, water, Ever since. has been going on for a long time. Yeah. Now, all of a sudden, they are literally exporting thousands of people mm -hmm. with no advance application. 
mm -hmm. when they could all easily go into a U.S. embassy mm -hmm. and start the process for asylum. All right. Oh, no, let's not do that. Mm -hmm. Let's create a political crisis yeah. and plant them on the border mm -hmm. as we go into winter mm -hmm. and not give them any shelter at the same time. Yeah. Made for and TV. And suppose, of course, caravans are only a uh, rhetorical term. Mm -hmm. There are the cars, mm -hmm. wagons, mm -hmm or all kinds of means of transportation that mm -hmm. they use, right? We only use caravans as a rhetorical term mm -hmm. to describe it. Now, suppose there goes a bus, right? The bus schedule has a schedule, right? Mm -hmm. And then people have to know to catch the bus. And somebody's right? got to pay for the bus. Somebody got to pay for the bus. Who buys the gasoline? Exactly. Who all pays right? the driver? Who pays the driver, mm -hmm. right? And does also, the driver even really know how to drive a bus? Yeah, yeah. on the road, mm -hmm. people need to eat, mm -hmm. right? I don't think they can carry two months of supplies of bread no. in their own package. No. Where do they get the money to, 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 to feed them? Exactly. You right? need to be asking some hard questions. Yeah. And some news, is, uh, some source of news even says they have a prepaid visa themselves? Yeah, it's like... Huh? You, you have a, a country where its economy is not developed. Yeah, uh -huh. Credit cards are not used. Uh -huh. And all of a sudden now the caravan has... Prepaid pre a visa? You just got to scratch your head and go, there's no <laughs> logic to this. And, and they're using uh -huh. people for mm -hmm. a political agenda. Mm -hmm. And that's wrong. And we need to all right. expose who is financing to create the crisis. Ah. Mm -hmm. uh, Okay, now, one thing for sure that we want to find out, we the people, mm -hmm. we the people, uh, by saying that, we're not saying that we are not pathetic to those people there. Correct. Those, those folks are still human beings. They are the same human, human beings as we are, mm -hmm. right? So they deserve everything we deserve, mm -hmm. right? Now, you, you're talking about a country. Country is has to, to act like a country. No country has no borders. Correct. No border has no border control, right? And there are laws, there are agencies, enforcement agencies mm -hmm. there. Everywhere. So that is the norm, normal day-to-day -day operation, mm -hmm. right, going on. Now, when it happens all of a sudden like this, with a, such a well-organized way, with a, such a beautiful orchestration, you're talking about, you need to find out who is behind it. Mm -hmm or who are behind it, mm -hmm. who could be due to your, to your knowledge? I know I'm asking too I mean, big you, a question. You, you hear everything, some of the obvious players in America, but then you also hear, while well, some of the former presidents of Mexico mm -hmm. um, are helping finance this to give a hard time to the new incoming president to create a crisis in his own country. And, and then you gotta ask yourself, how petty, how, how immature no, no, That no, former no. elected no, no. officials mm -hmm. would even want to do that mm -hmm, when mm -hmm. the right thing would be if you cannot deliver security to your country, invite the UN to come in and do it for you. If the previous uh, uh, president was mm -hmm. uh, that much strong power, mm -hmm. he wouldn't have lost the election, right? If a new president, the incoming mm -hmm. president, he would, wouldn't have created a problem for his own self mm -hmm. to handle with. So, And then you, you got to ask the question, so the people have gone all through Mexico, it's almost like too many of their elected leaders mm -hmm. parted the Red Sea for people to easily go, mm -hmm. not crime-free, because a lot of them had preyed upon. Of course, of course. And then you got to ask yourself, why is that country not doing its job mm -hmm. and stopping the people and saying, go back? Okay, take, take, take Honduras, for example, mm -hmm. right? Honduras, Honduras government doesn't do its job. Mm -hmm. Of course, that's a, that's a, that's a norm, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, it is not today, starting today, Honduras doesn't do the job. <laughs> not do the job for a while. They, they, they're, not, they're not doing their job ever since. Honduras is a problematic area mm -hmm. on, the, on the global yeah. earth ever, mm -hmm. right? Now, from Honduras, they have to go through Guatemala. Mm -hmm. There's a border there. So, there's a border there. There's a border control both ways. 
on each side. On the east side, you're talking about Honduras. On the uh, west side, you're talking about Guatemala. Mm -hmm. So there are two locks there mm -hmm. that have to be unlocked. Oh, Am I not right? only they unlock, the gates are swung open. All right. And the only time the gates close is when the TV cameras show up uh -huh. to make it look like mm -hmm. they're trying who, to stop it. Who closed the, the gate? Exactly. I, mean, who, I mean, who opened the gate? Exactly. All right. Now, on way going west, though, you see mm -hmm. another border that is twice gated, mm -hmm. right? The Mexican gate mm -hmm. and uh, the, 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 the Guatemala gate. Mm -hmm. So the, how come, which efforts yeah. could make both countries mm -hmm. open their gate? Yeah, somebody is pushing the buttons right. and it's not somebody without power. You have to oh, have- Oh yeah, this is, this somebody must be huge in power. Mm -hmm. Must be huge in power. Yeah. And they're not interested in helping the people. Mm -hmm. They're interested in embarrassing others. And that's the sad, pathetic part, is this isn't about helping people for a better life. Th no. th that was never part of the discussion. That's an excuse. That's an excuse. Yeah. My dear friends, my loved audiences, uh, like I always say that at this show, we're not talking about news. We peel off the layer of the news, we go behind. Yeah. We see what's behind that layer. And uh, probably that would be more, more eye-opening at least, mm -hmm. right? So with me is my friend Mike Sinfendorfer, former candidate for California Assembly 58. Mm -hmm. And of course, we're borrowing his wisdom to see what's exactly mm -hmm. after the layer of the news. So, so stay with us, we'll be right back. Hello, my dear friends, my lovely audiences, my dear fellow Americans. Mm, welcome back to the show, Chuck Chow, on the East West discussion with the GNE TV, with ICT TV. With me today, my friend Mike Sinfendorfer, former candidate for California Assembly 58, is sharing his thought on those uh, most head scratching issue, mm -hmm. that is the southern border issue, with the migrant caravans. Uh, they call immigration caravans. I hate to use that term because you're not talking about today immigration level yet. Mm. You're talking about a havoc, uh, a, a melee, or disaster, whatever you call it, right? And on the other hand, you, you find out it is something not happened when it happened. It is something being prepared, being orchestrated. Mm -hmm. And then we concluded, as we go by though, if it has been, it, or if it is orchestrated, there must be a power. Mm -hmm. And then we concluded, if there is a power, the power must be humongous, mm -hmm. right? Now let's come to another layer. Mm -hmm. Who could be the, the big power? Yeah, because as you mentioned earlier, at each border, you've got that two sets of locks. Mm -hmm. And they're suddenly being opened. Mm -hmm. That's not something a, a mayor can do. Mm -hmm. it, it takes, you know, people. At I know the top I can't level. open it. No, I, you know, <laughs> nobody can except uh, the yes. federal government. Mm -hmm. So we got to really start to peel back that layer, asking mm -hmm. ourselves who in the top levels of government of each of those countries mm -hmm. is saying, you know what, we aren't interested in fixing our problems. Mm -hmm. So we're going to create a crisis and we're going to use people. And that's the brutal truth of what's going on. Obviously, you're talking about three countries, right? Honduras, Guatemala, and New Mexico. Yeah. The three countries must have to come mm -hmm. to agreement yeah. that, okay, let's all open mm -hmm. our gates, mm -hmm. right? Yep. And both the sad and the good, the only person on the Mexico side that's really upset is the mayor of Tijuana. He's like, you're using me as the dumping ground. Oh, yeah, 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 And now yeah. you want me, meaning my city of Tijuana. To take the to blame? And pay for it. <laughs> no. And, and that's what's going on. He has only, he has his own 1.7 million people yeah. to feed. Yeah. Right? He's got his own problems. Yeah. Given the, given all the products available, mm -hmm. given all the food, all mm -hmm. the natural produce 
uh, available. Mm -hmm. So he has a problem already. It's not a money issue. For example, you and I are hungry now. Mm -hmm. We have a million dollars, right? Mm -hmm. But we have only one, ham one hamburger here. There's no one going out to buy for us. There were no one producing anymore. Exactly. And nobody will help us. We have mm -hmm. $1 million and mm -hmm. a one hamburger. That's it. Mm -hmm. So this guy, this poor guy, 1.7 million people to feed mm -hmm. with the limited resources mm -hmm. is not a money issue, isn't it? And maybe the only thing that good that comes out for him is I understand there's thousands of unfilled jobs with the Makinodoras. Mm -hmm. And the people that are being used, I think mm -hmm. some of them are realizing, A, we're being used, and B, they're not going to be able to get in, and C, since uh, deal A is no good, they're now realizing that, which was coming to the United States and we'll sneak you in, mm -hmm. is deal B, which is there's actually gainful employment here, is probably going to be the route that several thousand of them take mm -hmm. because they do have the jobs available. That's a, that's a step down issue. Yeah. Right? Now that their first approach cannot do, they, mm -hmm. they fail. That's a step down, which is not might not be bad in the long run, only in the long run for Tijuana. Because if they go back to their home country, mm -hmm. that's not a good option. Okay, now, of course, they can either go back to the country, mm -hmm. right? Or say, hey, find a job mm -hmm. whatsoever mm -hmm. and start our life here. Yeah. Mexico, relatively, relatively, Mexico is better than Honduras, mm -hmm. is better than Guatemala. Yeah. Well, anyway, they end up something better. Mm -hmm. That's not a bad deal. For them, there's only a, a, a backup or, or, or step down situation. Mm -hmm. However, that doesn't mean our analysis of the big power behind it doesn't make sense. Because you and I both know if they get half the people to stay and take those jobs and return the other half, the people that orchestrated this, all they're going to do is redo the same thing again. And that's where we got to be able to realize no, it's not right to be using people like that. Mm -hmm. And those powers to be that are playing the games, they need to be outed. They need to all be right, shown okay, to the people. Right, okay. They're not concerned about helping people get a better life. They're concerned about their own political agenda. Okay, let's give it a uh, little, little uh, analysis, mm -hmm. call it that way. Okay, now, let's say the power mm -hmm. behind it mm -hmm. And let's say the power, if there's a power, the power must be big. Mm -hmm. It could be both ways, right? Could be the power of those three mm -hmm. countries. Mm -hmm. Could be power elsewhere mm -hmm. from, uh, from out of the three countries. Do you think there's any power or anything out of the three countries being added upon or being a major player of the whole thing? Well, I think it's going to be clear we got players from this country that have partnered up with the people that control those locks. When you say this country, you're talking about uh, us? Yes. Oh, yeah. All right. Good. Yeah. We, mm -hmm. There's no need to find out exactly who. I think we will find out over time. Mm -hmm. But they're clearly involved with wanting to create the crisis, mm -hmm. to create negative news, to make it difficult for our current leaders to be successful. Mm -hmm. So that's the sad part. Those people are being used in a bigger game. And the real focus should be, how do you make their lives better? Mm -hmm. And if we were serious about that, we would have the UN in those countries helping the local police force gain control of the cities because they don't control. The gangs do. They're out of control now. Yeah. And not only that, but uh, medically, something outbursts will happen mm -hmm. medically. Right? Well, they're already pointing out that now there are so many health issues because they're crammed into this you know, soccer stadium. They're crammed into places that are not meant for people to live. Mm. And we've got the rains of winter coming in. All that added on is just a formula for disease and for death. Yeah. And the sad part is those power players... Yeah. They don't care. They're out in the cold with the rain that's yeah. coming uh, the season mm -hmm. and with no shelters, no exactly. enough clothing, no enough food, mm -hmm. no enough clear water, drinking water, 
and uh, wonder what else could happen. Yeah. Well, that you can't just listen there mm -hmm. and a think, right? So things will come out. But more problem would be created, well, of course, automatically. Well, and then it upsets a lot of people that those that say, well, just let them in and we'll house them. But yet we have all these victims from the fire living in tents in a Walmart parking lot. And I'm like, hmm. I'm sorry, we need to take care of our people first. These are real victims from the fires, mm -hmm. not manufactured political crisis. Mm -hmm. I do not believe we should just let them all in on the border and say, well, house you and feed you while it takes one to three years for you to go through the court system. Mm -hmm. No. The people living on the Walmart parking lot in tents, Worry. that's the priority. Yeah. The yeah. veterans sleeping mm -hmm. on the streets right now, mm -hmm. that's the priority. Don't bring more crisis. Uh, more than we can handle, right? And we're finding out we're stretched. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Uh, my dear friend, with, the, with me is my dear brother, Mike Sinfendover, candidate, former candidate for California Assembly 58 District. And we're sharing his uh, beautiful thoughts about what we are dealing with, mm -hmm. especially when we come down to the last segment in which we will be talking about solution or resolutions or whatever to deal with though, mm -hmm. we really have to be thinking both ways. Number one, what's right for the United States. And number two, what's right to do mm -hmm. from a perspective of humanity, mm -hmm. humanitarianism, all right? So in between, you'll find yourself really caught with a hard pick, mm -hmm. all right? So uh, stay with us. We will we'll be right back after this last breakout. Hello, dear friends, lovely audiences. Welcome back to the show, Jack Chow, on the East West Show with ICTTV. With me, my friend, Mike Sinfendiver, a wonderful human being and uh, a, a candidate, former candidate for California Assembly 58. And I believe that's, that could not be his only run, only campaign. Mm -hmm. I anticipate, anticipate the day that he runs for his second try. Right, good. Uh, we're sharing his beautiful thoughts on the issues at the southern border. Uh, they call the uh, immigration caravan, I call them migrant caravan. As a matter of fact, both, none of these definitions are right, mm -hmm. right? I call the caravan orchestration, mm -hmm. how about that? The caravan show mm -hmm. or theater show, something like that. After each layers of analysis, we found out that it is, it is a man-made problem. Number two, the man who made the problem must be big, mm -hmm. right? When we say man, we say M-E-N, right? Good, anyway. Now, regardless, mm -hmm. whatever, whoever is behind this, mm -hmm. right now you're holding a crying baby mm -hmm. or a dying baby mm -hmm. there on your hand, right? Now, after all, they're they're human, like I mm -hmm. said, like you, like me, like everybody, they're human mm -hmm. beings. Mm -hmm. They need to be traded. They need to, 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 to be taken care of. Whoever's mm -hmm. problem, we might talk about later, mm -hmm. but right now we need to do something. And instead, mm -hmm. we see President Donald Trump send military troops over there mm -hmm. to enhance the border, mm -hmm. border. In between sending troops and or sending uh, border enforcement agencies. So what's your comment about the whole thing, mixture of the whole thing? If we had some good leadership in California, mm -hmm. they would go to the churches and organize them, mm -hmm. literally to say, this group of churches, we want you to go down on Monday. This group, we want you to go down on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. This group, we want you to go down on Friday. We have already coordinated with the Mexican government for you to be able to bring clothes, mm. food, doctors. And then the state would say, 
we would make sure that you would have an escort from the California Highway Patrol. Mm -hmm. So that way you could send 20, 30 vehicles, mm -hmm. um, knowing that your vehicles need to be able to have to buy Mexican auto insurance. Mm -hmm. The state of California will step up yeah, cover it. and say, we will cover that cost. And it would be a partnership of state and churches mm. being able to work together because the churches would say, we don't have a problem going down there. We get a little wow. concerned about our safety. And so then the, the incoming governor of California should call the governor on the Mexico side mm -hmm. and say, I've got 30 vehicles each day, three times, that want to be able to bring things. Our California Highway Patrol will help escort them to the border. Mm -hmm. Can you help escort them so they can help the people? That would oh, be... Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Who would be against that? No people one would will. say, now we have government and churches working together. It is a terrible political issue. Mm -hmm. We set aside the terrible politics and realize we've got babies that are at risk of dying, mm -hmm. uh, people that are malnourished, that could use a doctor just to do basics, give them shots, and then even perhaps bring some dentists along mm -hmm. and some nurses and say, our state will fulfill its obligation and safely get these groups of people down to the border. I've talked with the governor across the border. His people will help make sure from the border to the stadium and to, to the sites, they will have safe passage. Do we see any of that going on? No. 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 And no, that's no, what no, we no, need no. to see happen. I have to convince myself that is so far the smartest solution. Hmm? The, the, the best brain I've ever heard of yeah. in tackling these problems, yeah. right? Good. In addition, I mean, provided we are, we're declaring ourselves a state of sanction, right? Mm -hmm. A state of harbor, mm -hmm. right? So now we got to do something like the way you described, yeah. without having to bother the federal government to do anything, military or law enforcement whatsoever. Well, and, and the problem with a lot of our state elected officials, they're trying to be junior secretary of state. So they're trying to thump their chest uh -huh, uh -huh, and not do anything. Uh -huh. Doing something would be going to large churches and say, can you get 10 or 15 of them and spend the next two weeks or week collecting the clothes the, the diaper wipes, the diapers, yeah, 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 go yeah. to the Costco's, the mm. Sam's Clubs, and go to all these places and let's collect all this stuff. And then as the incoming governor, I've talked with the current outgoing governor, Jerry Brown, and on this day, at this time, at this location, the California Highway Patrol will be glad and honored to escort you to the border. Yes, yes, yes. Sir. And we've talked with the governor on the other side. They are thankful and grateful and they will guarantee your safety with their resources to the people. None of that's going on. All right, okay. Uh, I, I totally agree with that. And I wish that my, my, my audience has really heard that loud. That's about the beautiful brand, mm -hmm. the most beautiful brand that I have uh, heard ever since the problem started, right? Now, this, here's the philosophy. Mm -hmm. when, they, when somebody else can orchestrate a problem that size, mm -hmm. that elevation though, why can't we, people of California, to put together something, we can orchestrate something mm -hmm. ourselves mm -hmm. to tackle with it, mm -hmm. to take care of the problem. After all, you're talking about the end of the day, nobody will disagree with you that, uh, of, of your extension of uh, hum, hum, I mean, Help to humanity. That's just showing way. love for another person. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. sure. And, and what it does is just it politely sets aside the Church, politics. Churches, nonprofit organizations, yes. uh -huh, and other religious, religious groups. The Doctors Without Borders organization. Yeah. They would all probably come aboard and say, we have people locally that would love to go help. Uh huh. Every time there's an earthquake and disaster or something, yeah. people go there voluntarily. Yeah. If there's an organization who calls upon, say, hey, come on folks, let's give mm -hmm. them some aid. Yeah. Okay? And they will join the team. Yeah, because what's gonna happen is they're gonna get more and more desperate. Yeah. And then all of a sudden the idea of charging the border mm -hmm. 
where you have well-armed individuals protecting the border mm. where they could get hurt, they're not going to care anymore. And it is, it is natural. When they are hungry enough, some riot will happen. Exactly. They are human beings. Yeah. Right? And so i got to ask people, why are we not facilitating and organizing? Mm -hmm. And you know, let the state senators and the assembly members that have that power, those relationships, and say... To do something. You know what? We're going to organize, and on two weeks, we're going to leave. And between now and then, we're going to go ask CHP, help us. Mm. Um, I am sure these churches have plenty of current law enforcement people that attend. Some of them might even say, you know what, we'll go and help. And facilitate getting them to the border and then reach across and going, hey, we can get them there. Can you help us get across in yeah, 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 without yeah, any yeah, issues? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and if you've got concerns, tell us what they are ahead of time, so at we the, don't. At do least we wrong. can. At least we can try this with the, in the city of Tijuana. Yeah. Right. That poor mayor needs help. Oh, I'm sure that mayor would love to say. Yeah. You know, don't call the governor. Call me. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, get, I'll, I'll get my. I local can do the job right away. To show at least up. He can do it to the school city. You. Right. We have none of that going on, and it's shame on the politicians. None of that going on, and. Uh, I wish, I really wish those big guys, legislators, even governors, including our incoming governors, mm -hmm. to hear about what Mike Sinfender has analyzed. Yeah. And it doesn't cost taxpayer lots of money. No. And it doesn't cost anybody to risk any political career to do so. As a matter of fact, you will get even better. Yeah, you'll show you care. you show you care. Right? And, and it didn't take a law or a government program uh -huh. to do it. No. It just took people getting together. And a lot of these elected officials Rather have Rather than money. now having Donald Trump mistakenly send the military troops over there mm -hmm. to trigger something like a, a, an attack of the fans, the tear gas and stuff. I tried tear gas on myself. Mm -hmm. I, was, I experienced that. Mm -hmm. This is something that human bodies cannot take. No. All right, good. And, and, and we see the problem elevated. Who is happy? Mm -hmm. I know we're not happy. No. Right? Only the ones who created the problem mm -hmm. are happy. Now we're talking about 2020 election, which is a little more than a year ahead, right? Yeah. Yeah, so It'll be starting in January. How do you think they are related? Well, they, and it goes back to what you have mentioned earlier. People that are manipulating this, you know, it's like the puppets on the strings, mm -hmm. you know, the financiers of all this. Their objective is to create the crisis, create the embarrassment, because they want to influence 2020. It has nothing to do with making sure people are safe, better fed, better access to medicine. It has nothing to do with that. Mm -hmm. It has, oh, this is how I am going to play politics as somebody with a lot of money because I want to embarrass the current incumbent and try to defeat him. They are trying to give Donald Trump something, mm -hmm. which is the, <laughs> the most hard to deal stuff. Yeah. Right. Other, uh, other, either way mm -hmm. is wrong. Yeah. Right. It, it's, it's just it needs to be, okay. We can't. Do I the would recommend. Thing. I would recommend that Donald Trump hear this show, mm -hmm. <laughs> hear this, this discussion about your recommendation of solution. That sounds a very solid solution. It's a, we got to help these people get through the next couple of months. Yes. Until they figure out what to do. And that will turn this whole disaster mm -hmm. into a win, win, win situation. Yes. Three winners. Yeah, they, they talk about what a great made-for-TV mm -hmm. visual of our local law enforcement, our local churches, our local leaders mm -hmm. all got together and they're helping them get to the border safely organized without issues mm -hmm. and then the other side saying we're now ready to receive you on this day at this time and we're now going to do our part and safely escort you to start helping and all it needs is somebody to stand tall and uh, make the call and, and because the incoming governor could use that bully pulpit oh yes that a governor has mm -hmm. to say I can't solve immigration issues because it's not a state issue, and but suppose, I can make sure we show how caring we are. Suppose in the, by the time he takes office yeah. and this problem gets solved, he takes the momentum right goes into the office. So he can start yeah. his day 
They yeah. want brightly. Yeah. And, and you would reduce the human suffering just by bringing some doctors down there. Or, or the incumbent governor can say, uh, Mr. Newsom, you prepare yourself. Let me do it. Let me help mm -hmm. you do it. Yeah. Either way. Yeah. And a lot of these elected officials have discretionary funds to spend. Mm -hmm. Or the so lawmakers. So why can't they also say, you know what, um, assembly member, I'm going to, as assembly member, I'm going to give a thousand dollars to this nonprofit because they're going down there to help. Or the legislators mm -hmm. can sit together to pass some r resolutions mm -hmm. right away, yeah. right? To go, to take it to some emergency act right away yeah. to motivate the moment to, to to motivate the organizations, mm -hmm. the church groups, so yeah. and so forth, and to give orders to the to to the California Highway Patrol. Yeah, and, and you know the CHP would love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To step yeah, forward yeah. and go, uh -huh. we are ready to help. We are ready to protect yeah, yeah, and yeah, make right. sure those thirty vehicles with people and their supplies safely get there and won't be a burden for us to do that work. It'll be an honor to do that work. All right, my dear friend, my lovely audience, I really, really appreciate that set of beautiful brand. Uh, my dear friend, Mike Seffendorfer, has pointed out that it is not that much a hard job to do. Only you motivate the, 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 the bottom line of your heart and you use the uh, resources you have already. It doesn't cost you a lot to do so, but it will be a win-win-win situation. My dear friend, I really wish that uh, everybody hears about it. So we're over time, but we're happy. Uh, we'll see you next time. This is not a done deal. We still have to talk about, we still have to look around for better solutions. So you'll stay with us. We'll see you next time.